welcome back to this tutorial sequence. So far, we have taken our data, we've entered it, we've created a scatter plot from it, we have found the regression equation for that data, and we have, and we have uh, also graphed, we've stored and graphed that equation. So last time we stored it, let's go back to y equals, we've stored it under the y equals, and hit second quit. So now what we want to do on this one is we want to find residuals. And residuals uh, exist for every single point, that is the distance that the y value is from the line. So the vertical distance that the y value is from the line. And the way that we calculate this is the observed y value minus the expected y value. So notationally, that's each little value of y that I found for every x minus its respective y hat. And these sub i's are just to note that we're going to do this for every single point. So for every single y value I have, even if I had repeat ones, let's say if I had 42, 22 again, I would still need to repeat that process. Or maybe I had 42 comma 21 as my other point. I would need to do this process for every single observed y value I have, I would need to find the expected y value. So we would need to create a, another, um, part to our table, we would need to find the y hats. And the way that we would do this is we would take our x values and plug them in and find our y hats. And then we could find each residual by taking the y's and subtracting the y hats. That's a long way to find it. And we can do it. And it's not so bad when you have just a couple um, bits of data. However, um, What's really awesome is as long as you have, as long as you have stored the regression equation up here, and if you don't remember how to do that, go see the previous um, video on how to do that. So I'm going to hit second quit. Don't hit clear right there. Or we'll clear out your, um, your equation. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to stats, and I'm going to go back to edit, and I'm going to move over one so that I have a blank column. So here in L4, I'm going to put the residuals here in L4. And your calculator will actually do it straight up for you. You don't have to go through this process. If you wanted to, you could go up to L3 and you could tell it to calculate your y hats. And then you could make L4 be L2 minus L3. But instead, I'm going to go straight to it and we're going to do it. So here I am. And it seems like I'm going to go out of here, but I'm not. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab something that's going to help us. So these are referred to as the lists in your calculator. And you'll see right here above stats that there is a button that says list. So I'm going to hit second list. And list is where you can do a bunch of, first you have your list, the names of your lists. And then notice that there's different maths and stuff that you can do on those. That is not for where you were. You would need to be back in the home screen to do this. But if you didn't have that regression equation stored, 7 wouldn't have popped up. You would have just seen L1 through L6. But because we have our regression equation stored, boop, oops, second list. Because we have our regression equation stored, my calculator knows that I want to calculate residuals. And so 7 says, hey, you want residuals. If you're in the home screen, you can just get this and it'll give you a list of the residuals. But if we do this, L4 is equal to the residuals, and I hit enter, it knows, hey, these are the residuals that you are looking for. And we can go through manually and we can double check that these actually 